you are arrested. Please. Ask Jesus. Tell him that you want to go home. He will answer you right here. Jesus, I want to go home. I want to go home. I make my family suffer. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Heaven is taking over, speaking with him. Is only taking over. I started to cut myself when they need blood. I was in hospital because after I wanted to kill my sister's son, he ran away. Then I started to take a blade, cutting myself from hands, the waist. I called my, my teacher to take me to the church in Manhattan. The pastor, he was strong, but not enough. He was that power to chase the devil. But I was strong. Each and every year, when they, when they take a one soul, the next year, you will get another. They come again. I was given a key before. And a white, white chain. And that guy who gave me said, I'm going to have a, a better life since ever. And I started receiving more than 3,000 in my pocket when I woke up. I started enjoying, enjoying. After it reached 30,000, he said, it's time to sacrifice. He put me in the table and light up the candles. <laughs> Mana and Patino spear up my blood and give to all the other leaders. I am wise too much. But after taking my blood, I didn't stand up. My teacher wanted me to go to the church again. I started touching her. I was so afraid to enter in the church. Christ is, is asking him, he said, how many times did I spoke with you? I've used the teacher to speak with you and you didn't want to listen to him. And again, Christ is asking him, this is now is happening in the spirit, but I thank God because you are hearing, we are not, this is not demon. And again, Jesus Christ said, do you know that you are wise, you have wisdom? Then this one is answered. He said, yes, but they've taken my wisdom, which means the knowledge. So in other words, Christ here is showing him all the places and all things which he did. At the beginning, Christ started by asking him, how did you join this kingdom of darkness? He answered, he said, I started by cutting my hands because they wanted the sacrifice. And because he was getting money, 3,000, 3,000, and when that money reaches up to 30,000, you have to sacrifice. Now this is 
the communication of Jesus Christ with this person. It's happening in the spirit. Some of you, you are asking yourself because you wanted to see Jesus Christ by your eyes. He is here. Abanyebenu, benfunubonu Jesu, ngame shwenyam, u Jesu kona la, uyeloga kuluma nalintizwa. So, continue to listen what he's saying and answer all his questions. There was, a, there was a plan of my family to destroy it. <laughs> Can you please give me a chalk or a pen to write? <laughs> and Jesus Christ asked him, what was your plan? When he is now in the darkness, he is asking him, what was your plan? Now he is answering. write to this another book of the darkness. You see, I used to see this when people are manifesting demons again in the spiritual warfare with Jesus Christ. But now Christ has decided to show you how he works. Say, life is in the spirit. Life is in the spirit. You mustn't cry anymore before Jesus. No. Is Jesus Christ instructing him to draw all these things, explaining? Which is some instructor, Omiala Guta Palegonke Luga Palai. is in the form of a snake and the names of the people are written there. Se a sungwa lang seko chantun sa chan noha lima bitu abata bangwa lang mul. Eta ma sona eka dide mu Lenyoga iha maganje ikal ite starat de from mana na usuga la apa from de yatlamu then it goes de after mana na yatlamu then from de it goes de after mana na after mo yatlamu na then from de it went de yatlamu from mana na hey. After Mona Nayat Wayatlam. From there, then it went there. Mona Nayatam, Mona, from Mona Nayatam. Anana, did you put the escape day? The cops that have escaped. Okay. Hey. My sister's son. Mona Abdua, also high. And then. 
Sixty-eighty, and then Meiti. Meiti. <laughs> and then from Monana, we have Fana. Then from there it was Fana. And then from Monana, we have the Kelet. Then from there it was the Kelet. So. From my family, was bomba in a car accident. My sisters, my, my brother's son. Wait, wait. Remember, Christ asked him about his plan. And my brother's three son, and my another brother, son. From family. Darkness. Wants you to start to kill with the people from the family. And, and those who are dead, you will find a sign like this. Hmm? And those who are dead, you will find a sign like this. You got the sign? I got the sign. This is the knife and the blood. There is a cup that is always here. It is like this. And then in this cup, at September, it gets full of blood and they collect it. So, <laughs> this sign from this right. You mustn't cry. <laughs> it's circulate. It's what? <laughs> circulate. I'm like this. <laughs> this is the group format. After here, you go here. When you are in here, you need to sacrifice of three death. The what? Three people, three death. People. Yes. When you are in that? In, in the second stage. In the first stage, it's all about money and good life. It's money. Yes. <laughs> and good life. And he is drawing the plan of the darkness, how the kingdom of darkness works. <laughs> the stages which the they stages. go through. In here. Is when you start to sacrifice, you sacrifice. After that, you become a leader. If you fail to sacrifice, it is very painful to sacrifice. But the time when he wanted to go, he said, if I don't go, I'm going to release the secrets. Really, I want to go, I want to go. So, Christ, hey, now instructed him to put the plans of the darkness down. <laughs> Always when you have this sign, you see this sign to the person. Please run away. Which sign? This sign. This sign. Just throw it in here. No, it's still a, that's oh. weak. Oh, oh, it's in that snake. <laughs> okay. If which you sign? see the sign, which sign? Yes. If a person come and give you something, just pour her with water in the chest. And if he didn't run away, you will see him bumping. Bumping? The snake bumping in the chest. <laughs> and when you are listening to this list, don't 
try to put the order because you know that this is the kingdom of darkness now. It doesn't have order. You, pe you Stop people are taking. Stop taking any keys from anybody. If he left the keys in the container of a shop, just leave them there. They are too dangerous. The keys are too dangerous. Keys. Keys. In other words, he's explaining here how are they possessing people or attacking people. You, you people, you said you know him. I know why are you crying. I must tell you the truth. It's because you have lost those three spirits. I know that you've, you are feeling the pain. That's why you are crying. And that's why when I'm confronting you, you don't want to, to be comforted by the words of Jesus. It's because you are thinking about what you have lost. It's not that true. It's true. How do you relate with this one? My bad, my real brother. So, your friend invited you to come here. Yes. I know that it's Jesus Christ who used your friend to call you. Yes. Yesterday, yes, I was reading the news newspaper that I bought here on Friday. Forever newspaper, I think on Friday. He, he, he appeared out of nowhere. And he started asking money, something like 100 rand. And the spirit refused me to give the money to him. The spirit and the power of God started, started to be bold to me and say, ask this young man questions. I started asking him, are you still going to the church? And he started to turn his face down. And I started all the evil to ask him all, all about the evil things that he has done. A few minutes from then, he pushed the door and ran. He ran. He, he ran faster than you like what? At a fast. Do you know that I know the truth that that 100 rand which you were looking from your sister? You are going to use it. Ah, stop there. I'm going, I'm going to tell you. I know the truth now from Jesus Christ that you wanted to possess her or attack her because from your your mirrors in the darkness. You have seen her that night when she's here and you have seen the danger which is coming to your kingdom. And darkness and your bosses, your kingdom sent you to go and take that 100 rand. And that 100 rand was going to be used as a connection of destroying her. Is not that truth? Is it true because I've done it before? <laughs> Please forgive me. Yeah. So, when you arrived there, did you hear what she said? She was reading the Forever newspaper. Yes, I found her reading and the newspaper. You have seen it. Yes. And I know that when you are in... I didn't even want to look at it. I know. Because you were seeing the fire. It's like when you look by your eyes, she was holding the fire. That is why you didn't want to look at it. You know, she was reading the works of Jesus Christ. That is why you ran away. And the same Jesus Christ is the one who told her and the Spirit of God that she mustn't give you hundred rand because she wanted to use it to attack her because through your mirrors. Do you know that I know that you have mirrors? I mean, the things which 
you are able to see what's going to happen. I, I, I see things that are going to happen tomorrow. So what kind of mirrors do you have? Because I know. Okay, we have like a foil paper mirror. We have a plastic mirror. And we have a card box mirror that we use. The what? The card box mirror that we use. But do you know that I know the truth that you are not talking about the real paper, the real uh, yes. papers. Uh, do you know that I know the truth that immediately when you are having that paper or that card box, it's not a card box. Do you know that I know the truth that... Yes, even the book that I use, there are signs and there are language there. The first page tells me what to do, how to promote my spirit, how mm. to pray. Mm. How to pray the devil. In the meeting, those people... They are not amazed because those who were used to see Lucifer, they are no longer seeing him. Do you know where he is he now? No, I don't know. He disappeared. He disappeared. I'm going to tell you the truth. Where is he now? Lucifer is arrested by Jesus Christ. In 2005, Jesus Christ is more powerful than the Lucifer. The problem that Lucifer was arrested. He lost the book. Some of the leaders took that book because Lucifer was powerful. Because you know that I know his book with that that the one which was made by the skin of another animal. Most, feathers, uh, where we read about Lufana, most, Lufada. Most of, of these things. That, uh, that that's how they told you that they are deceiving you when they saw. Yeah, he is arrested because he lost the book. They are saying that that book was having power to protect them, to protect him. That's lies. That's lies. Jesus Christ is the one who is taking all the things of the kingdom of darkness. I believe. Okay, now let us hear the confirmation. Do you know this one? This young man? I was called by my sister here as I invited him to come on Friday. Oh, you are the one who invited this one. Yes, I'm originally from Limpopo. Mm -hmm. He was walking by himself when he entered into my car. But what, but what surprises me is that immediately he sit down in my car. He became sick very, uh, worse. And then I drive a little bit and then he was worse and he was pushing his legs to disturb me. And then our driver, but now push him out to a high home. Do you know that I know, I know the truth that you were seeing the place where you are going, number two, that car was burning you. I started to have a headache. Uh, when I, I, I was at home, I didn't have a headache and... After entering in, in the car, I started having a headache, a strong headache, and I heard the voices. I started to grumble, grumble, grumble in the car. And, and the voices were telling you that, where are you going? Stop going to the place which you want to go. And when, I mean, uh, it was maybe 30 seconds, 30 minutes after, I started to have this power that power and started to disturb her in the road. And I wanted her to stop the car, and he did stop the car. And they got two guys in the back of the car to hold me and started to drive him up to here. When I arrived here, my When you came out from the car, you were thinking about to run away. I know that is why you get stuck. Yes, when I arrived here, my legs were stuck. I didn't even know. <laughs> That's a KO! <laughs> Do you know that in reality, it's Jesus Christ. It's not a human being. No. That's why when you are looking at me, you feel that I'm too much heavy for you, and you cannot stand before me 
I know that you are seated here by the grace of Jesus because Christ wants to help you. Yes. I really want to thank God because when Pastor used to say he's sending fire to our cars and everything, I really saw it by myself today. Because when he entered my car, he was bound and he was unable to do anything and he was very sick. And he was pushing me to stop the car, but I, 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 I drive a little bit and then I stopped somewhere in the middle of the way. And then me and my sister, we started uh, praying to him. After the prayer, he was like somebody who is tired. And then I asked my brother to come into my car so that he can help uh, my sister's husband to hold him until we reached here. But when we entered this entrance of this uh, place, he was really a person who is like, he's, he's dying. And he was unable to walk. He was, he was unable to do anything until they helped they help, um, my brother to bring him in here. I thank God for, 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 for. Because you have seen the practical demonstration of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yesterday he came where we stayed. Then my wife asked him about the, all the evil spirits or the evil things that he's doing. He was able to explain some few things. Then after explaining how, how he killed my sister's child, then he ran away. Then I tried to run behind him to catch him. No. So, you know, when you, you know, you, you were telling me that, yeah, you have a big car. You mean the car, that car in the night, because during the day, your sister is confirming that you don't have a car. In the night, you have that big car. Yes, I have a big car to travel at night, to collect all other students. In the night? In the night. Yes. During the day? During the day, I am me, and nobody can see what is going on. Mm. Those, those who don't have keys, they, they enter through the holes of the keys. Oh, the key to unlock the places where they want to go. Okay. It's because they, they are using spirits. Thank you for the for the confirmation. So you have seen by yourself that really to be in Christ, you are not wasting time. I'm seeing this uh, scars. Pastor yes. Irene is I was asked, I was beaten by the leader. Why the leader is beating you? I keep so many secrets yesterday. Hmm? I took out so many secrets yesterday. Oh, my body, he can say the first thing at the go so in the night. I didn't want to go to the church, so he beat me. Oh, you know, it's because your sister came back with a fire, so the leader got angry about that. Yes, he got angry. He sent the servants into he sent the, the student to find me. What that leader was using in order to beat you? He Every was time using a chain. He was using a chain. The leader was using another chain for Moata. No, these were the marks that were left so that it can be evident. So the other marks, he rubbed them off. Okay. Is Jesus Christ who did that? He said other marks. They've disappeared, but these marks on his chest, they are left here because Christ wants to show us the confirmation of the evil kingdom. A chain with fire. Uh, chain the evil fire. Down. You know that, I know that they first burn it with a lateral fire and put the spirit there. 
immediately when they are beating you, they, they are burning you, 